Hello friends, welcome to the Pink Fresh Studio YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Lake and I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout today using the Picture Perfect collection and this metal die which is one of the essential slim cuts and it is the slim stitched scalloped circles panel one. I just wanted to do something fun while still taking advantage of or trying to use as much of that pattern paper that I'm using for my background to create that frame. I got that piece in the middle and thought that I would still use it and that's when the metal die comes uh, into action. This is a kind of a weird layout I normally like to when I'm working on layouts I normally like to focus on happy pages or happy moments happy events um, but sometimes sometimes <laughs> it it's also important for me to keep record of those moments and those stories that are not that colorful or happy or perfect and this is one of those it's been quite for quite a few months it's been hard to juggle all of the things and fo follow up and try not to get behind and try to just you know keep going and going and going and this is this photo is actually from I believe a couple of months ago maybe or a month and a half and there was a pile of things that needed to get done on my desk and that was just crafty things that needed to get done you know then on top of that have been you know so many other things so that's the story and on the bright side we are using wonderful products to make it colorful make it nice i am playing with some of the samples from the pink fresh studio watercolors this is a and i'm using a plastic bag right to just spread a little bit of that color not much just a tiny bit bit on the background this is going to be kind of see you're going to be able to see through the this little windows two of them so what i wanted was to just color match or color coordinate with the pattern paper that is in the background and on that that will be creating that window uh, again you won't be seeing much of that and this can be easily recreated in the meantime with using your ink pads and mixing that with a little bit of water as well And you need some water you take that plastic bag and then just have fun on your page and I'm also I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of me decorating the page but heads up something happened when I was recording so not the entire process of me decorating the page will be shown and bringing back i added foam adhesive to the back of that um of the windows page of that pattern paper page and then i also added some foam adhesive to the back of my photo adding a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of these two pieces and i am trying now the decorations will come and it's gonna be tone on tone so I'm going to try to go from pinks to yellows to the blues and I'm going to be using the chipboard frames mainly now to to decorate and then I'm going to create my title with the alpha stickers I'm going to be adding foam adhesive to the back of those alpha stickers so you're going to there's going to be a tiny bit of fussy cutting this time. I'm going to fussy cut one of the flowers from one of the pattern papers. And I am just playing with these frames and creating layers. And as I said, tone on tone, just focusing a little bit 
on creating that dimension and playing with the different textures. I love, love, love the chipboard frames. They're so fun. And I love the fact that you just don't, you not, you don't only get squares. You get a mix of circles. You get those scalloped uh, frame rectangles. So super, super fun. Adding a few more here. And one more at the bottom. Just making sure it is straight. Then as I said, a little bit of fussy cutting. I did not want to do much, but I did want the yellow from the flower picking from that yellow frame. And then the leaves match the color of the alpha stickers. So that went, that worked out pretty good for what I wanted. Perfect, that's gonna be there. That's gonna end up there. I'm gonna add some foam adhesive to secure it. And then you can see this is where some of the things were not recorded. So I have the title is in Spanish and I used the Spanish embellishments. So the stickers, you have a phrase sticker but uh, right under the title and now I am adding the gold glitter drops all around the so I'm using the tiny tiny ones on the tiny holes that are on the that were created by with the die on that scalloped circle and and then I'll be added some around the page. This is it. It's a short. Um, the journaling is just short. That's a cardstock sticker. So I hope you enjoyed the process. And it is time for me to say see you later, guys. I'll see you around. This is my last video for Pink Fresh Studio uh, as part of the scrapbooking and the video team. It's been a wonderful year. It's been a wonderful time playing with this beautiful products. Uh, now that I'm going to stop, I have no plans to stop using Pink Fresh Studio products. I love working with them. I, I love the fact that I am now trying to learn new techniques and playing with products that I had not tried before. So again, I will see you around. We'll be here. Please let me know if you have any questions. All the products that I used are linked in the description below. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.